Hi, I'm Bob, and welcome to Between the Sheets, where we look at Microsoft Excel and related technologies. You may be familiar with SmartArt in the Office programs, which creates decent quality diagrams like process charts and cycle charts. You're more likely to use it in PowerPoint, but you might sometimes want to use it in Excel. But SmartArt is several years old already, and its diagrams are well-worn. What I want to show you in this video is an AI website that creates very nice diagrams from your text. The best part about it is that even the Pro Edition is free. For now. They'll eventually start charging for it, but they haven't said when or how much, so get it while you can. I have no interest in this company at all and don't know any of the people there. I just discovered it a few weeks ago. I will start by briefly showing you Smart Art by comparison, in case you're unfamiliar with it. If you want, feel free to skip over the first part of this video. So let's take a look and see how it works. I have instructions for how to brew a perfect cup of coffee, and I want to use that text to create a process chart. Now, for SmartArt, I can't use the text directly, so I'm going to select it so I can copy it to the clipboard. And I'll just press Ctrl-C. Or I could use the ribbon bar, it doesn't really matter. Now, SmartArt is something we insert, so I'm going to find it on the ribbon bar in the Insert tab. Now, you may or may not have it already visible on the ribbon bar. I have to keep this window squished a little bit for the purposes of the recording, so I'm going to go to Illustrations. You may have Illustrations already visible on your screen. And there is Smart Art, and I choose that, and I'm going to go down a process, and I'm going to choose one of them. Now, of course, I could just select any of these and get a good preview there. I want a simple one. I'm going to choose this one. Click OK. Now, I can, if I want, I can retype any of this text directly in there, but that's going to be kind of tedious. So it's a lot easier to paste into a text pane. Let me move this out of the way a little bit. There's two ways that I can bring up the text pane. One way is, see this little arrow there? I could click that to bring up the text pane, click it again to get rid of it, or on the ribbon bar, you notice that we are in the Smart Art Design tab on the ribbon and there is text pane right there. So there's several ways we can do it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click somewhere inside, and you see there's three bullets here corresponding to the three shapes, and I'm going to select all. I'm just going to press Control A, and now I'm going to paste. I press Control V. And you notice each bullet now becomes a new shape. If there are extra bullets down here for some reason that happens, sometimes you might end up with extra shapes. And if that happens, you can simply delete the bullets and that will delete the shapes. I'm done with the text pane now, so I'm just going to close that. I'm going to stretch this out here a little bit. And now I could apply formatting, like I could click this change colors and choose a particular color or maybe a color scheme or something like that. If I want to do a little bit more formatting, I could go to the format tab on the ribbon bar and there's all sorts of other things that I can do here. Okay, great. Uh, honestly, I'm going to need some coffee because this boring chart is putting me to sleep. So let's look at Napkin AI now for something much better. The front page shows you samples of different types of diagrams that you can create. So I think that's pretty neat. But let's go back up to the top and I'm going to take you into pricing. I haven't logged in yet. And you see right now there's a starter plan, zero, it's always free. And this is what I was saying a moment ago that the professional plan, even that is zero enterprise that's coming soon. So this is now as of late October, 2024. And who knows, maybe all you need are three napkins. I think that's cute. A napkin is just a design. It's an artboard. So I'm going to go and sign in. I don't have any napkins created yet, so I'm going to click New Napkin and then choose Blank. So I have a new napkin. It kind of looks like a sheet of paper, but I'm not going to quarrel with that. So I'm going to give it a title. Hit the Enter key a couple of times, and now I'm just going to paste the text that I had in Excel. It's still in my clipboard, so I'll press Control-V. 
And there we go. Now, sometimes when you paste all of this, instead of being all nice and neat like that, might be in one long paragraph. And if that happens, you may have to edit and uh, put it in separate lines. Who knows? But you see on the left, there's this little lightning bolt. So I'm going to go and click that. And it gives me some suggested diagrams. <laughs> some of these are cool. Some of these... I'm not really sure what it's thinking about, but I'm going to scroll down here. This one is kind of cool. This uh, I like this because you see it has all those different icons. So I'm just going to choose that. And you see there's variations. Some of these have colors. Some of these have the little circles on them like that and all the different colors. But I'm going to choose this because I want to put my own colors in there. And I'm just going to click off it. So this looks great, but there's a few things that I want to change before I apply any formatting. The first thing shows grind beans. Well, I'd really rather have that show coffee beans instead of, I don't know if that's a pot or a grinder or what. So I'm going to click that. And you see, I got this little toolbar up on top and I click that lightning bolt or I roll over it and it shows me possibilities that I can use. But none of those are coffee beans. And here's the crazy thing is <laughs> sometimes, you know, because this is AI, sometimes it'll show you and sometimes maybe not. And if I click off it, click back on it and hit that lightning bolt, will I get beans? Well, maybe not. So what I'm going to do instead is you see down here, we have this little floating toolbar. I'm going to click this little lightning bolt. And we've got this little search. Now, I am not pressing down on the mouse pointer. So this thing is kind of following my mouse. And I'm not sure if that's a bug or a feature. But if I click, then it stays put. And now I'm going to type in coffee beans and see what it gives me. And there's a bean. So I'm going to click that. Let's just drag that out of the way. And now you see it puts some beans in there. So I could use that to replace what this is. So I'm going to click this icon. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to take the substitute beans and I'm going to drag that up. Filtered water. I like that. Add to the carafe. Now, well, can we get something that looks more like a French press device? And that looks a little more like it. Pour water. That's good. Place filter and lid. I'm not sure if that's the one I want to use. So let's see what else we can take. Something like that. Now, this is hilarious. Let steep. And what is it? It's a bird <laughs> running downhill. Well, I think that should probably be a clock. So let me go back to this search lightning bolt here. And I'm going to search for a clock. And that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Take that. <laughs> Maybe I'll find a use for that bird on the steep incline somewhere. Press filter handle. Oh, there's only so many times we can use a filter icon. So I'm going to see. Now, well, I don't like that. Let me get rid of that. And I'm just going to grab like a down arrow. So let me search for a down arrow. And there it is. And I'm going to drag that right because that's the direction where we put it. And serve coffee. Uh, well, kind of. I think I just want a regular old coffee cup. And there it is. So here from the lightning bolt, I could just choose coffee cup. Pour water, actually, I don't know. Maybe I want something more like water. I don't know. If I go here and I search for water. Yeah, I kind of like that. And let's get rid of this. Now, incidentally, we've got these other three icons. So this one will let me just click and type any kind of label that I want. I don't need one, so I'm just going to remove that. This one, the pencil will let me sketch, so I can sketch something if I want. I'll just hit Escape and delete that. And then if I want to insert an image, I could go here and I can upload one or I could drag and drop. I don't need any of those right now, but I want you to see what those are. Now, we need to do some formatting because this is all just kind of plain, boring black. And I'd like this to be kind of coffee colored. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to marquee select all of this. And notice all the different objects that are being selected. 
and now I can apply color. And you see there's this little palette. Let me scroll a little bit so the palette is more visible. And there's a whole bunch of colors. And you see there's this little plus there for additional colors. And if I roll over it, you see it says Pro. So I think what's going to happen is once they start charging for it, the free edition will probably get these initial colors. And if you want something a little bit more interesting, then you have to go and pay for the Pro edition and get this. Again, it's all free right now, so that's okay. So let me go over here, and I think maybe that's a decent coffee color. Maybe a little lighter, I want it. And if you want a hex color, if there's a specific hex color you want, you could dial that, uh, type that in there. But this is good, and it's chosen that for me. So I'm going to make sure that's selected. Hit plus, click it. Let's click off it, and now you see it's been applied. But it's been applied to the text. I really also want it applied to the rest of the stuff, so I'm going to select this again. And now again, I go back to the palette. Now, because I already applied that brownish color, it's already there. It's already available, so I can click that, and that gets applied. What about the font, you ask? Okay, glad you asked. I'm going to go and select all of that. And you see here, it shows me some fonts, and there's some fonts that are there by default that you can choose any of these. I like the Chantal that it came with, so I'm going to keep that. Also, if there are specific shapes you want, let me select this again. So this gives us recent colors. This little box here gives us, you can see, arrows and diamonds and squares and all of that. And this one, if you click that, that will ungroup this entire diagram. Well, I don't really feel like doing that. Now, once we're done, we could go and download it, right? Because we want to use this somewhere. So I'm going to so I make sure everything here is selected. I hit this little download button. And what I want to do, I want to save it as a ping file. And you see for background, Right now, you can see the checkerboard. That means it's going to be transparent. If this is set to on, then it's kind of like a JPEG where the background is going to be solid white. I don't want that. I want that background to be transparent. And we also have different choices of resolution. I'm going to leave that as one just to keep the file size down. Now, if I want, maybe I don't want to download it at all. Maybe I just want to quickly throw it into my clipboard and then bring it into Excel. I could do that and click clipboard. I'd rather download this so I have it available. So I click download. I've now downloaded that as a file. So now I'm going to go into Excel and use it. So here I'm back in Excel. Let me just escape out of those marching ants. I'm going to take this smart art and just kind of move it down here out of the way. And... Now that diagram, a little bit more. So to put in that diagram, we go and insert because now it's just a regular image and images get inserted from the insert menu. So it says place over cells. Sometimes that help just is in your way. And you see what it's doing? <laughs> the help is in the way of the menu and it's just hard to get it. So I'm going to choose from this device, and now it's inserted. And here is my diagram. Let's take that smart art and move that even a little farther out of the way. I just want to leave that there so you can see the comparison between the two. And there we go. There is my napkin inserted. Now, because this is a ping, if I want to tweak it in Adobe Photoshop or something similar to that, I could do it because it's just a regular image. Like any software that's still in beta, you'll find some glitches and maybe some bugs in Napkin AI. That's to be expected, and it's why they aren't charging yet. If you want to read some documentation, click your profile icon in the upper right corner of the screen and choose Help and Support. So until next time, my name is Bob, and this has been Between the Sheets.